is. Uh, the actual thing I'm trying to point out is the fact that instead of an operating system, it shows the, um, uh, the editing program that was used on this photo. Um, are there additional photos that you did this analysis for? Yes, many. Okay. Um, can we scroll to the next page, please, Tom? Is there anything um, about this photo that you noted as part of your analysis, Mr. Neumeister? Yes, again, it's, it's uh, you know, right, right there you've got Photos 3.0 on that particular photo. And I think, you know, we've pretty much covered what the, what the stuff is, but again, you see the Photos 3.0. And again, this could not come out of an iPhone this way. This would go into a computer, be edited, and rendered through the photo uh, editing, photo editor. And this, this would then be embedded in the um, EXIF data. Okay. Do you have other photos in this demonstrative? Yes. All right, can we scroll to the next page? Uh, same thing. You've got up here in the top, you've got the, uh, the photos 3.0. And this is uh, throughout a lot of the photos that are uh, in evidence or versions of the photos in evidence were gone through photos 3.0 or photos 1.5, an earlier version. Can we scroll to the next um, page, please, Tom? And what about this one? Uh, same thing, photos 3.0. And again, in a photo uh, editing app, you can do an awful lot of things. So when you see photos 3.0, first of all, you know it's not anywhere near an original. There's going to be compression artifacts because it's a JPEG file. All right. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. Can we move on um, to the next page of this um, demonstrative, please? And again, same thing. Uh, you've got the photos app. Okay. And I believe there's one final photo in this um, demonstrative. What about this one? And again, if you look up there, it says uh, photos 3.0 on that particular photo.